Hello children. Let's begin with today's quote. Mistakes are proof that you are trying. Children, we can make mistakes only when we are doing something new. So, our mistakes are the proof that we are trying or doing something new. Children, in the previous video we have discussed about the need to store water as all the water we get comes from rain and rainy season lasts only for 3 to 4 months. So, we need to store water to have it enough for all our needs. Today, we are going to discuss about some of the olden water storage systems and recent water storage systems. Wells, water tanks in forts, draw wells, barns, reservoirs and tanks are some of the old water stores. Children, in the olden days, several methods of storing water were used in our state. Nowadays, these old water stores are rarely used, means they are not used nowadays. However, their remains can be seen in all places. Children, remains means left behind part. Some of them are very beautiful. Water in some of these stores never gets depleted, means never get reduced. The first old water store is wells. Children, a well is a structure created in the ground by digging to access the ground water. Some rain water seeps into the ground. So, wells are dug to obtain this water. You can see a picture of a well here. Let us move to the next one. Water tanks in forts. Children, in olden days, people lived on the hill forts in the past. They also needed water. The forts had reservoirs and tanks dug into the stone. Here, you can see a tank on Fort Shivaneri. Draw wells are also used to store water. In the past, draw wells were dug to get drinking water. They were small wells from which water was drawn using a small pot like a bucket and tied to a rope. Atpadi in Sangli district had a draw well in every wada. You can see a picture of a draw well here. The draw wells had water all year round. When the tap water system was introduced, the draw wells went out of use. Many were sealed. Now, there are very few left in Atpadi too. This can be seen in many villages also. Barns were also used to store water. Ardhan or masonry barns were built across rivers to store their water. Children, barn is an embankment used to control the flow of water. The water of rivers were stopped by flowing away to some extent by building barns. Reservoirs were built in areas of low rainfall or in areas without a major river. So, reservoirs is also one of the old water stores. Reservoirs means artificial lakes. It is a type of large lake where water is stored to be used by a particular area or a city. Most of the reservoirs were built using Stone and mortar. Next one is tanks. It is also called as houth. Earlier tanks were used to store water. Some large cities still have these old tanks. Some of them are still in use. You can see a tank 
in Aurangabad city. It will be interesting to find out such type of tanks in our city too. Now let us move to the recent water storage systems, one of which is dams. Children, the next most important of all recent water storage is the dam. Dams made it possible to store huge quantities of water. As a result, more land was brought under cultivation. Children, dams store huge quantities of water which can be used for agriculture too. Cities began to grow. So, it became possible to set up factories and generate electricity with the help of dams. Maharashtra has several large dams such as Jayakwadi, Koina, Ujini and Yeldari. So, it was possible to create electricity that is hydroelectricity using dam water. Factories can also be set up near the dams. And more land is brought under agriculture means farming can be done using the water from dams. Next one is bore wells. Children, earlier wells were dug to reach the water under the ground. But it was not possible to draw deep seated ground water. Now, with the help of electric pumps, it is possible to do so. Bore wells are dug for this purpose. These wells are very deep but very narrow. Means, in short, bore wells are deep narrow well for water that is drilled into the ground. We will continue in the next video. You have to read the lesson thoroughly to understand all these water stores. Till then, happy learning!